Hello, everybody. Welcome. It's uh, Monday morning. Um, so, my old friend and I here have discussed a lot of things, and we've decided that we are going to do recorded videos with the crystal ball. We weren't quite sure how this was going to go and how my scrying was going to go and if I was going to pick up energy when um, I was just doing readings by myself. And I decided, yes, I am. So I got one of the most clearest, wonderfulest readings yesterday from this crystal ball. So always remember, take what is interpreted as if it resonates. Okay, if it doesn't resonate, don't take it. If it doesn't make sense, don't take it. Um, if you don't like what I'm saying, turn it off. Um, yeah, it might get a little bright. Okay. Because I have to, I'm going to work with the sun today. So you might want to turn your settings down a little bit. All right. She is going to light up. All right, here we go. So like I said, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay. So I immediately see, um, a cat, a black cat and, um, Almost like a, I see like a, a steering wheel, black steering wheel. Oh, now I can actually see the sun in the crystal ball. Okay, so steering wheel, the sun driving towards something, possibly moving towards something. Well, I can see a shark's fin. So I'm being alerted of something. I'm being alerted of something. Whoa. Firefly. No, um, dragonfly. Looks like a dragonfly. Like, I don't know if somebody hangs a dragonfly, like, in their window. Dragonfly, what do dragonflies do? The dragonfly in the one deck I have is the Ace of Swords. Seeing something really clear, or maybe, it, maybe that's what it is. Seeing something really clear, maybe the collective is driving themselves somewhere. <clears throat> you're almost like a subconscious, right? Like you're moving towards something and you have the wheel. Your hands are on the wheel. And it might scare you, right? Because sometimes when you go into unknown, unknown territory, right? It's not it's scary. Like it, it, it is like, it's, it's intimidating. Maybe it's not scary, but it's intimidating when you see a shark's fin, you know, around you, whether in, if you're in a boat much better, but if you're in a smaller boat or like a canoe or something, that could be really intimidating to see that swimming around you, even though you may, he might not want anything to do with you. Maybe someone's around you that intimidates you. Right. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe someone, maybe you're going toward, maybe that's what it could be too. You're going towards something that is going to intimidate you a little bit, but, um, it's like, it's, you're the truth or you hold the truth. Or when someone sees you, they see the truth. They see that clarity. They see, um, kind of like the window opens and the sun comes out and they're like, okay, all that darkness before that I couldn't see through. Now I feel like I can see through it. Maybe it's something like that. Oh, kind of seeing like an owl now with like, um, one of those little, uh, you know, eyeglasses just, you know, it's like, um, I don't know, reading something, reading something, reading into wisdom. Whoa, that's a being. 
with like long horns behind it. Whoa. There are a lot of people around you right now. You can see a lot of figures around you. And this thing that I can see, which I don't know, I don't think it's human, that's for sure. But it's almost like, oh, I can kind of see it's almost like the fawn in Pan's Labyrinth. Because that's kind of like the way his horns are going. Um, okay, there could be parts of your mission coming up then right now. And you're kind of asking to go um, and, and almost like be tested. Maybe you're going to get tested. Maybe that's what this intimidation is about. It's like, can you go beyond feeling intimidated? Like maybe you easily get intimidated and that's probably because you've been bullied for most of your life and people intimidate you because you can feel that energy on them. So you kind of like tend to like back away, you know, now I'm getting Slane's uh, broken toys. All these imitators. But someone's been hiding, or you've been hiding the true person inside you, just waiting to come out. But you didn't want to do that per se right away because I think you know that that's going to be intimidating to people is like seeing who you truly are but it's would you rather people see who you truly are or them never get the chance to see it right like I would hate for people to die with things like that in vain you know like like wanting to do something and never being able to do it it's like we don't know how long we're going to be here for and we don't know when this journey ends and if we keep postponing things that are inevitable for us and we really truly want to do them then it's like I do feel like you will die um unsatisfied so maybe there is something that you've got to take the driver's side to, you know, and, and get going with something, get in your own lane, get in your own car, get behind the wheel, put it into drive and go and don't stop. Right. Just because even when you get that feeling, like it's almost like, man, when I, when I moved myself across the country by myself with absolutely no plan on what the fuck I was going to do. The whole time, all I did was focus on the future, 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 future. Like, cause I had to drive, right. It was like four, five days, five and a half days. It took me to get to where I needed to go. So I had to focus on that road. I couldn't think about, you know, what's going to happen when I get there or is this a good move? I was told to do something and I did it and it worked. So when you, whoa. Oh, you're going fast. Um, so when you get guided to do something, right, it's like this guy just almost drove right into a dead end, like going way too fast. Like when you take the hand, when you take the wheel, go slow, right? It's okay to go the speed limit. It's okay to go the, the, the limit that you want to go. Okay. Go the limit you want to go with this and you will get to, um, where you, you know, where you want in life at your pace, right? You want to go at your own pace. And now I feel like the world is giving you your pace. Like there's this, there's this dark side and there's this light side, right? And maybe you have to expose this dark side and, and bring light to it. Whatever that means to you means to you. I, I don't know. I'm not you, Right. But I can kind of like see what, what that would generally mean for people. Right. People have to expose things. They have to expose things in companies. Oh, now I can see like a really big mouth open and a skyscraper. I don't know if you live in a skyscraper. I can see a skyscraper. It's like, I kind of see this whole other world open up for somebody once they do this. And maybe that's a part of this intimidation. Maybe you feel intimidated to say something, you feel intimidated to expose the truth. You feel intimidated, you know, because there could be people around that you think are going to hurt you. And just always remember 
you can expose uh and not show your face you can expose like crime stoppers and never reveal your name right you can do things and people will never find out that it was you who did it but there is that way so spirit is like you know don't if there is something you have to do trust me um there are places i can see a lot of dust so it's like i don't know if you've got a lot of something and that's what you want to talk about or that's what you want to say but um, again, now I can see the sun and I can see this building. I don't know if you're going to find refuge in this building, maybe with somebody who's, um, got your back, believe in you or something. They, they know you're telling the truth. Try to find somebody that knows that you're telling the truth. If you need, you know, cover yourself, make sure you're okay. Um, stuff like that, right? Just cover your basis. And then there's that kind of like firefly or not stop calling. I keep calling it a firefly. It's a dragonfly, but maybe the firefly is trying to tell me something too. I mean, the firefly lights up its little bum when it wants to at night. So it's maybe that's what the analogy is. It's like, it could be really dark where you are. And all you have to do is turn your light on. We're all given a light, turn your light on so you can see properly where you're going. Turn the lights onto your vehicle so you can properly see where you're going. I surprisingly turned on my lights very early last night. And when I looked around, all these automatic cars, right? Where they just, the, the lights come on, right? When they want to, when they feel it's time to come on. And those, no, nobody else had them on other than those new cars. And I was like, I, I feel like I had to turn them on for some reason. I would usually wait a lot longer to turn my lights on than what I did yesterday. So maybe this is kind of like that. Like maybe, maybe you've done something before in the past and it's taken you a really long time to do it. Now this could be a something coming in the future where you don't have to put so much behind it. You don't have to do so much. It's going to be, Oh, bah, 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 and then go right. Oh, I can do this and then go right. It's, something like that it's like you've per you've planned you've prepared for something like that guy did not prepare he did not know that there was a dead end right here he thought he could just speed right through like he found his own way and the universe had to turn him around and send him back i have this weird building in front of me so it's it's one of those things like I get the analogy in that. Like sometimes you think you just got the clear to go and you don't, you got to turn around. Those are for the eager beavers. This, I don't really feel like is an eager beaver move. This is more like this has been calculated. You knew that was there just like I knew it was there because I'd seen it before. So it's like, I've seen this happen before where people um, get this, you know, sprout of energy and they go running with it really quickly because they think that that energy is going to run out really fast. But if the energy is meant to be, and you're supposed to have something, then it can sit there until you're ready. I mean, try not to abuse time because people do get greedy and they want to sell things before you get there and they want to make their money before, right? But people used to save things for people and they don't anymore. They sell them off and they make their money instead. And, you know, that's a lot of our heirlooms and, and a lot of, you know, passed down vehicles and stuff that people really, you know, they don't need the little bit of cash that they get for it when they could give it up, right? Like my sister, she gave her car once to, um, the the I think it was called Cars for Kids, and uh, they come and pick it, pick it up, and you you they give you like two hundred fifty bucks for it or something like that, and it's tax deductible on your on your taxes, and it's considered a charitable donation, and they take these cars. Well, what they say, I don't know. And they rebuild them for, for kids, you know, that are going to school and, and can't get there or uh, have sick relatives and, you know, people who need cars and can't afford them. Maybe something like that. Something about a car. Yeah. Woo. Now I see the front of the bow, you know, where they sometimes have a lady on the bow of the boat spread out. That's how I see it though. I think somebody got some clarity there and it's smooth sailing people. I mean, it's not smooth sailing, but I mean, for now, everything is telling me that all systems are a go. So let's see a little bit of what Tarot says, and then we're going to wrap this up. Oh, God. 
these cards are so stiff still. The Witch Doctor Beyond Bliss Karma and Tradition. Can't help but see two angels. Two angels. Or maybe it's that. Yeah, they just got high. They're reading tarot cards. Tradition. Again, these people around. I don't know if someone's learning something new. And um, they've got a lot of people around them. But the, I do feel like there's a lot of people that are um, wanting you to succeed. Like especially the animal, something about animals as well. Like, um, being in that blissful moment and knowing that, uh, you might not know everything that's going to happen, but at least you can feel good about, you know, transformation and, and good about moving forward and maybe getting, maybe that it's take controlling, get control of your life right? Take the steering wheel, you know, take life by the horns. It's like, it's like something, something like that, getting a lot of wisdom, a lot of wisdom coming in, right? And then believing in that wisdom and not turning your back on it, embracing it. So then more can come in, right? Changing some of your belief systems, right? In order for new information to come in, Oh, look at that. Good energy. Just sitting there waiting for me to pull it. Oh. Ready to explode with solo artists. Absolutely. Really breaking free. Okay. Um, really breaking free. Like somebody is really going to get into life and the evil eye switched up to, right? That's, that is good energy. Okay. Um, getting away from the low frequency energies, getting away from, uh, spending money to make you feel better, learning how to channel your energy, learning how to be in a, be, you know, really be in a blissful state of mind, right? Um, addressing who you are and new, it's like new energy, new religions, new traditions, new beliefs, really, right? And opening, expanding yourself into better energy. And by driving yourself forward, you get into better energy. So somebody is definitely changing their, their frequency here. So spirit is like, heads up. We know what's going on. We want to let you know. We want to let you know that uh, it's all coming together. And I truly believe that it is. Right? I truly believe that it is. And you know what sucks? I laminated these cards and they're already coming. They're already coming out. So, heads up. Things don't last. And like, I really thought this laminate, I gotta, I think I have to give it more of a lip. I don't think I gave it enough lip on the card. That's the thing is, you know, you got to give yourself enough space. Okay. You, you really do. You have to let yourself grow. You have to let yourself get into, you know, you just have to sometimes listen to the energy around you and to, you know, guide yourself slowly. This is definitely a slow process for somebody. And so shall it be some people I have, I have really learned honestly to slow things down, especially when I don't fully know where I'm going or what's going to happen or how this is all going to turn out. I slow down so I can take it in a 
little bit and go like, okay, what is really going to happen here? Like, what am I trying to see? What is happening here that I'm not seeing, right? could be something like that because you definitely don't want to allow yourself to explode, but you don't want to hold in that energy so much that it makes you want to explode constantly, right? Especially if you, um, or in a relationship and sometimes you hold back your feelings, like try not to do that, right? Try to express how you feel. So then these pent up things that are inside of you don't make it. So then you want to explode and like hurt yourself or hurt somebody else, right? It's really grabbing a hold of yourself, grabbing a hold of your emotions and who you are and sticking with that, right? Allowing that and then constantly just adjusting your wisdom, Keep, keep taking in that energy that makes sense to you. Keep taking in truth, especially with that, um, dragonfly, you know, bring that truth in and then same with the firefly, light it up, right? Light up the darkness, light up what people can't see. And also let people know that just because they might see something on the outside, it doesn't mean that that's what's going on on the inside, especially when it comes to beauty. I just saw the word beauty, especially when it comes to beauty, like beauty is truly on the inside. And when you get to know people and when you really open up and you get to, um, trust people and you show yourself to people, then I really do believe more beauty shows, right? Beauty is not just on the outside. It is on the inside. Okay. More than anything, it's how is a person, how do they treat themselves? How do they treat other people? Are they full of garbage? Or are they actually trying, right? Makes a huge difference, people. So very interesting reading. I am digging it huge. Um, I've got my dice coming, so I'll be able to um, kind of figure out a little bit more on the signs that want to be present, right? Like, obviously, um, this channel is going to change a little bit of, of how we bring in the message. Oh, look at that. Ace of Cups. Really, what I want to know is the signs that are involved with today. There's the Empress. The Nine of Wands. Oh, there's Leo. Ace of Wands, Two of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Six of Wands, High Priestess, the Empress. With the Nine of Wands. So I'm definitely getting Leo and Pisces, okay? Huge. And then we've got these two aces, ace of cups and ace of wands with the two of cups. That's like passion igniting. Like something is, um, oh, I'm hearing this part of the Lion King where um, Simba comes back to the Pride Lands. And it's a big thing because he's been gone for so long and he comes back home and he's ready to fight Scar who took it all away from him right? That's, that's big music. That's a big, that's a big time for somebody to get almost like retribution back against some type of rat, right? It's like, it's, it's, uh, it's the rise of the Phoenix. It's the rise from the ashes. It's, it's really, I mean, when you hear the truth and when you get to know the truth, it's something that changes you forever, right? It's like you suddenly become ready to go into the unknown because one cup just for yourself is better than depleting yourself of seven. Look at how that is. The Ace of Cups right in the middle here at the Ace of Cups. That's how it landed. Sunny side up. Sunny side up. Sunny side up. I actually had a sunny side up egg today. It's not the only way to fry an egg. But... That is like one of the most amazing Faith No More songs. I watch the video. If you feel like laughing, watch Sunny Side Up by Faith No More. They're in this retirement home. Oh, and they're playing. Oh, and everyone's tripping out on mushrooms. <laughs> Sunny Side Up. I usually don't eat egg, like uh, I usually don't eat eggs in the morning. That's why I feel like this is kind of weird because like and I had a Sunny Side Up egg which is weird. That's even more weirder, right? 
So, Six of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. There's that truth. That's how it, that's how the whole reading ends. The Mother of Truth. It's the goddamn truth. People need to hear it. They say they want it all the time. Give me the truth. Give me the truth. And then they freak out when they hear it. And guess what? How they react to the truth is not your business. They can deal with that themselves. It takes strength to do what you're about to do. That's the thing. People are too busy. They don't want to bleed. You know, they don't. They don't want to bleed for what they love. They don't want to bleed for something. They don't want to get hurt. They don't want to get dirty. This is like, woo. This is a whole different kind of journey we're on here to get rid of something that is very selfish from the looks of it. And you know what I'm talking about. Ooh, look at on the top of the deck. It's the chariot. And you know what's so weird? I was asking spirit, like, what sign is this for? Tell me how it didn't say to look on my altar. And that's the chariot card. It's like physically sitting where I create and it just told me to grab it. And this is really like movement forward, like movement for quick time. We're going in a new direction. People with our cup at hand and our passion igniting our fire, igniting moving forward. So big up huge reading. It's going to be so fucking bright. I can't say I apologize because it's so warm. It's a really cold day today. And having this sun on me has been really nice. So I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was super, super bright, but it's all because we had to keep it bright because of this asshole. That's why we had to keep it so bright. That's why. So we got cancer. We got Leo. Oh yeah. And Pisces. There's the world, baby. Something is over. It is over. And I'm glad that it's over because we got to move forward here. Okay. Things got to get moving. People got to, Oh, what did I say? I knew the moon card was here. Pisces was just sitting on the bottom of the deck. Like this is kind of something that may not be able to be seen, right? Movement forward. You don't always know when you're going to move forward, right? It's kind of one of those things that it could come out and bite you in the ass, right? When you least expect it. But guess what? When you least expect it is when the best things happen. So try to embrace it wherever it is you're going, wherever it is you're steering yourself towards. Uh, it's clarity. It's the truth. And so shall it be. We're going to leave it at that because even the chariot came through. My first vision through the crystal ball was the steering wheel. So, I mean, how is that like that? I don't know how much more signs you need for movement forward. Okay. So. Uh, for crystal ball readings, you can get in touch with me, WhitneyMoonshine at gmail.com. Also, I do tarot card readings. I can do tarot and crystal ball together. Not a big deal. Uh, we can talk about anything you need to talk about. That's the beauty of channeling. It doesn't have to be about one specific thing. So uh, thank you so much for being here. And thank you for being part of the channel. And I bet adieu to your day. Goodbye. <laughs>